Alright, what's up guys, and today I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to make my background. That was the most requested thing in the video I posted um, to tell me to give me suggestions on videos. Um, now, if I really went in depth, it'd be a really long tutorial and it doesn't really need to be. I'm just going to pretty much be showing you how to make the ball and how to make it illuminate, illuminate on the floor. Um, so, what you're going to want to do is open up Cinema 40. This will work in 12 or 11.5. I'm just using 12. Um, and just go ahead and make a floor. Doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just gonna set up a, a just a quick scene really fast, and I'll just make this near black. Um, and I'll turn specular off. But you you know, you really don't need to. I mean, I'm just doing that to show you. Um, so yeah, what you're gonna want to do after that is create a sphere. And there is, I know there's certain things you can type in to have it perfect but we're not going to want it perfect because we're going to have them all over the place so uh, please don't leave that in the comments every time I get a comment like that um, and then after that you're going to want to go in uh, well first actually you're going to want to make this radius about 50 and not 100 I think 100 is a little bit too small well maybe not uh, we'll go 80 maybe I think 80 is good and then we'll go ahead and edit copy edit paste or control whoopsies or control C control V um, and so now once you've done that you're going to want to go ahead and make this sphere a little bit bigger. So we'll go ahead and make it two centimeters bigger. And we'll make this sphere editable by hitting C on the on the keyboard. And we're going to go to our live selection tool um, and UL for the uh, loop tool. And once you have that selected, you can go ahead. I'm pretty sure I deleted these these top two so you'll click on that then you'll control or hold shift and click on the next one you can go ahead and delete that and as you can see the um, under the, the sphere under it is connecting um, and we can actually actually make this one centimeter bigger um, so yeah that's pretty much uh, how you delete the part that is going to be illuminating um, and what we're going to do here is add another material now and we'll go ahead and make this color whatever uh, blue light blue and then add a luminance and go ahead and make the color it's got to be a light color I'll, I'll just make it light blue for now um, or you can just go here and use the cyan looks pretty cool I don't know doesn't really matter um, and then you can add a reflection or whatever but I'm just gonna leave it like this and add it to here Add it to the sphere under where, under it, and then add a nice looking black with a lot of reflection on the outer part. Um, so we'll add a reflection, make it a Fresnel, and put the brightness down in the mix strength. Strength down and the brightness. And we can go ahead and turn off specular. And if you render that out right now, it will look like that because the sphere actually is too big. So we'll go ahead and make it 80 again. And there we go. So after you've done this, you'll come over to your render settings and you're going to have to um, turn uh, global illumination on. And I like to add ambient occlusion also. Um, and you'll make this floor a little bit closer so you can see the glowing part and go ahead and make this illuminance a little bit brighter I think 285 maybe I'm not sure and we'll let that render out real quick and as you can see it's already starting to illuminate on the floor now I know it looks really bland at the moment um, but what you can do is go ahead and add a sky and then right click on the sky and compositing and then make it un not seen by the camera and then you can add your HDRI in um, let's try this one yeah this is the one alright I'm gonna go ahead and drag in studio 15 and hit no and wait for this to load okay and then we'll add it to the sphere or my bad this guy um, and we'll hit render 
And as you can see, you can already start to get the nice uh, reflections and stuff, and it's illuminating onto the floor. Now, if you 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 to get it to look a lot better, you you can you can kind of do it in Cinema 4D, but you're gonna want to uh, do a lot of touch-ups. I did a lot of touch-ups in um in uh, what's it called? Uh, Photoshop, sorry, and um, to make it a lot brighter and look like there's actually a light inside. Um, if you want to go crazy, you can make more more luminance, but it it starts to get a little little out of hand. Um, and you can make this brighter so it's white. Um, and that's pretty much it. Then you're gonna either want to add the balls to a random generator or random effector or you can place them wherever you want. I myself placed them um where I wanted uh be just because of the fact that I didn't I, I wanted some obviously right in the front and everything. Um but you know, that's pretty much it. Um after after you're done creating everything, you can go ahead and shift and click on both of them right click and make the group them and now you can just go ahead and control c control v and copy make a bunch of them rotate them you know make it look cool so that's pretty much it guys um you're not going to want too much lighting either because then it takes away the um takes away the nice uh luminance effect that the balls are putting on the floor um so yeah guys that's pretty much it uh after that you'll add some nice I guess nice looks to it in uh in um in Photoshop. So thanks for watching guys. Um hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Peace.